What is up everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about pelican cases, specifically how to make beautiful custom foam for your Balasong collection. Uh, I use a service that is known as mycasebuilder.com. Uh, I originally made this as my first uh, foray into making custom foam and then eventually I graduated to this beautiful case and I'm very, very proud of it. But today I'm gonna teach you how to do this, how to make your own custom foam. We're gonna start a lot smaller than this. Obviously this case is super big and has a lot going on. You can see it's got chambers and layers and stuff like that. We're not gonna go that far. We're just gonna learn how to make something like this for your smaller balance song collection so uh yeah essentially in just a moment i'm gonna cut away from the live action video and we're gonna go to my computer screen and i'm gonna teach you how to use the my case builder case builder website thing so yeah the first step though is to figure out exactly what case you want so currently i have this is a pelican 1120 and it's relatively small it only fits six knives and then this thing fits way more than that but if you want a nice middle ground i suggest the pelican 1170 and that's what i'm going to talk about in the tutorial um but this stuff that i'm going to teach you in the tutorial will apply to any pelican case that you're building whether it be one this large or a smaller one like the 1120 here. So let's go ahead and move right along to the tutorial. All right, so welcome to the My Case Builder website. Now this one's pretty easy to use. I know it looks a little intimidating at first, but I promise it's actually not that bad. Um, the first thing you need to do is click on find a case. Um, and I start with the uh, Pelican cases. So you can actually see it says all these different things. Um, create foam for a new case, for an existing case. Like if you, if you went on Amazon and you already bought your Pelican case, then you would need to create foam for an existing case. Um, but if you have not bought your case and you want to buy the case and the custom foam at the same time, uh, you can just hit custom foam for a new case and uh, they will do that. Now, I suggest Pelican cases. Uh, they're my favorite, though. If you want a nice light case that has wheels, um, like my big case, that is actually the Pelican Air 1535. Um, but if you're looking for a smaller case that doesn't have wheels and is just like a small thing that you might be able to fit into a backpack, uh, that's going to be more in the regular Pelican cases. Um, and specifically, the one we're going to look at today and the one that I suggest most people to get is going to be the Pelican 1170 right here. Uh, another thing that you'll notice down here is that it'll have all the different colors that you can choose from. So obviously, definitely know that you don't have to get it in black. You can get it in black, silver, orange, yellow, desert tan, or green. Um, all of these look really cool, but I went with orange, of course. Uh, if you want the case with the foam, it's about 100 bucks. Um, and if you want just the foam, it's about 50 bucks. And then you could buy the case on Amazon. Um, but actually, it's generally more expensive to buy the case separately and then buy the custom foam. Um, because the case actually comes with uh, pick and pluck foam pre-installed, and so it actually costs more. So you'd be spending more money than this if you if you went to like Amazon and bought the case. But if you can find it for a good deal, then do that. So you can see this button right here just says start designing, um, and there's how it works and create custom foam. You just want to click on the part that says start designing, and that'll immediately throw you right into the My Case Builder designer. So essentially, you have different tools over on the left here, and you can use that to customize the case and customize exactly what you're putting into there. Um, and so for balisongs, the way that I like to set it up is I like to be able to lay my balisongs down sideways. And that's why this case is really good, is because it's not super deep, but it's pretty long, and so it gives you a lot of space to lay your balisongs down. So the first thing we're going to do is make a rectangle, and I'm going to check the rounded corner box because uh, the rounded corners just look really nice. And then for balisongs, what I have found is the best way of doing this is um, relatively simple. Uh, for the length, we're going to do 6.25 inches, um, so 6 and a quarter inches. For the width, we're going to do 0.5 inches, or half an inch. Um, and then for the depth, we're going to do 0.8 inches. All of this together ends up working pretty well um, to fit almost any balisong, this length, width, and depth ratio. Um, and then for the corner radius, you just want to put in 0.1 to have a nice small rounded corner. And then for set finger notches, we're going to say none because we don't need any finger notches. So then you don't need to you don't need to add printed labels. So you're just going to hit add a rectangle and look at that. It has spawned a rectangle inside of our window here. And this rectangle is very useful for us. Um, so we can we can put this in here a number of ways. But uh, you'll notice if I rotate it 90 degrees, um, 
and you can actually see a readout up there as you rotate for the exact angle that you're at. So you can you can read it to 90 degrees, but you can see that it's actually too big for the case uh, this direction. You, you can see that it's hitting the top and bottom of the case uh, when I've turned it 90 degrees. So there's two ways we can deal with that. One of them is that we could just put all the knives in like this, right? And so what we could do if we wanted to is we could take this guy and put him here. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to just use some of the uh, tools that they have here to kind of create a uh, shape out of a, m a bunch of these. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to hit a line um, over here and I'm going to hit center horizontally. Okay. And so that'll snap that to the middle. Um, so you just hit a line center horizontally and it goes back to the middle to the middle. And then you could also do center both and it would, uh, put it there, but you, you don't need to worry about that yet. Now we're going to do is hit the clone button. Okay. And we're going to make a few of these. Okay. So I'm just going to clone them. Um, and I'm going to try to fit as many in here as I can right now. So we'll just, we'll just clone a number of them until it looks good and see how many we can fit in here. And you don't have to be perfect with it because it's uh, you're going to be, you're going to be fixing that in a sec. All right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these. I think let's go with eight for now. Um, nine is an odd number and I don't like odd numbers. So I'm going to delete one of them and we'll just go with the eight that we have right here. Um, so I'm going to drag, you can drag from anywhere to select. So I'm going to drag to select all of these guys. And then we're going to hit the align button again and uh, do center horizontally. And that will actually center them all together horizontally, which is very convenient. Um, then what we can do is uh, something pretty simple. So to get all of these perfectly spaced inside of the case, uh, what we need to do is get the outside two in a position that we like, and then we can space the middle ones to kind of match it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this outside one, and you want it to be about a quarter of an inch away from the wall. Um, you're not going to be cutting too deep into the foam here, so it's okay for it to be relatively close to the wall. They might actually email you and be like, hey, are you are you sure you want this to be this close to the wall? Um, because the ballast songs aren't super heavy or anything like that, it's actually not that big of a deal. So as long as you have about a quarter of an inch between your hole and the wall, you'll be good. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one and put it about there, and then I'm going to grab this one and put it similarly near the bottom. I'm going to try to find about a quarter of an inch, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to click the other one. So I select just those two, the one on the top and the one on the bottom, and we'll go over to align. So if I hit center vertically, you can see that they moved up slightly. And what that means is that now this spacing here and this spacing here are perfectly equal. So both the space at the top and the space at the bottom are centered. And that means that this whole thing is centered. So now what we can do is select everything because we know the top and the bottom are properly spaced. So now what we can do is select all of them, including the ones in the middle, hit align, and this time go align space to selected. And now we're going to hit space vertically. Okay. Oop, just like that. And now everything in the middle is also going to be spaced properly in between these two things. Okay, so that's that's a very easy way to kind of get that done. So essentially, you just put the top one where you want the top one, put the bottom one about, you know, the same distance away, and then take the top and bottom one, make sure that they're uh, aligned to the center of the case. So you want to center vertically to the case, and then you select everything. And then you go align and then space vertically, and that'll space them vertically. And then you could do the same thing sideways. You know, you would just hit space horizontally instead, but we've got it vertically right now. So now we've got eight separate spots to put a knife. Um, and that's actually pretty good uh, starting. Um, so what we could do is we could kind of bring this over here to the side, right? And I said about a quarter of an inch away. So you just want to kind of keep about a quarter of an inch away from the sides in all, in all the spaces, if you can, including these corners. You know, if you bring it too close, um, you might have a quarter of an inch here, but the actual corner is really, really close to this corner. And so that'll actually uh, reduce the structural integrity and you don't want that. So you can kind of just grab everything and drag it over here. And then once we've got it over here, once again, I'm going to oh, align and then space to case center vertically. And that'll just make sure that it's perfectly centered vertically in the case. All right. And so now we have all of this space over here, which is pretty nice. Um, and so say we wanted all of these to be knife spots and then we have, we want a spot over here just to store our stuff. Well, we could do a rectangle um, and we could say uh, no rounded corners. We're going to do a length of three inches, a width of three inches and a depth to three inches and then add a rectangle. And it'll say, oh, hey, depth error. Um, your, your depth is going to go really deep. You know, are you sure you want to do that? What you want to say here is, you know, you could either have it where it leaves a half inch of foam at the bottom, a quarter inch of foam at the bottom, or you cut completely through the foam. Um, in this case, let's just say a quarter inch of foam is all we want. And so that will actually keep 
um, a quarter inch of foam, you know, underneath here uh, that's actually like padding. But you could cut all the way through the foam very easily um, and be good. So the reason we made a three inch by three inch square is we can actually drag the edges of the square now to kind of fill the space and figure out exactly uh, how big we want it to be. Um, something to note here is that because this is cut almost all the way through the foam, we want to leave a little bit more than a quarter inch. Honestly, you want to go about half an inch of space between uh, your cutouts here and, you know, a big cutout like this, because this wall, if you make it really thin, is going to be really weak. And so your balisongs, if they're like pressing, they could press into this space and you don't really want that. So you want like a nice half an inch between these two areas. Um, so it aligns up there. And you can actually see as you drag it around, it'll kind of like start aligning to things automatically. And that's very useful for us. Um, so I'm gonna leave about a quarter of an inch over here, but I want about a half an inch here. And I'll just start dragging my stuff and getting it nice and uh, fixed up. And then once I think that's good, I'll once again hit align and center vertically just to make sure it's nice and in the center. And now we've got a pretty good cutout already. So if you see up here, I hit the 3D button. Right, it'll load up some uh, 3D preview for you to look at, and uh, here you go. This is this is how our foam would look, and so you can see um, there's a couple spots where it would kind of cut through the foam there. That's just for the plastic at the edge of the cases. That's totally fine. Um, they might even email you about that to make sure that that's what you wanted. Usually, that's totally fine. Just don't don't worry too much about it. But yeah, so this is a case design that you could use that would fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight whole ballast songs and then you could have this big compartment to put whatever you want so you could put like your screwdriver and some oil and maybe a rag or you know whatever you want in this space and that would be a pretty nice little uh ballast song compartment already um so you can go back out and then you know once you're here you can also edit this up and, and do whatever you want but say you want to get a little more creative maybe you want to fit a little more knives into this case well how do we do that how do we make it a little more personal than just these straight lines and stuff like that um well let me show you uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete all of the shapes that we have so far except for one um so once again this just uses my standard measurements for the shape which is 6.25 inches long 0.5 inches wide and 0.8 inches deep with a 0.1 uh, inch rounding on the edges uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it till it's about 45 degrees. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, just needs to be basically as close as you can get uh, while still having about a quarter of an inch from the edges. All right, so once you've taken your first piece and kind of uh, put it into the corner here by turning it, you know, 45 degrees, what we're going to do is we're just going to clone it a bunch of times across here to see how many we can fit, and then we'll take the whole thing and kind of fit it uh, into the case, okay? Um, so bear with me on this. What you're going to do is you're going to take your one piece here and just hit clone, okay? And what you want to do is you can space it about like 0.15 to 0.2 inches away, okay? You just want a little bit of space between the two. Um, and it doesn't, like, they might actually even email you later and be like, hey, you know, you don't have a lot of space between these holes. It's totally okay. You know, the ballasongs, they don't, they're not much wider than 0.5 of an inch anyways. Like, almost no ballasong is much wider than that. So you really don't need to worry too much about... Um, this space here you just don't want it to be like really really thin but if it's at least about 0.2 inches thick you're good okay so what i've done is i've cloned it and i've kind of put it here now what i'm going to do is select both of these objects and then we're going to clone both of them right and then we can take this double clone and kind of bring it back and line it up and now you just want to eyeball it and try to get that spacing exactly the same and that looks pretty good so then we can select all four of these, and now you can kind of see where I'm going with this. So now I've got all four. I clone those four, and looky there, I've got more four. And then we just kind of eyeball that space again. Um, so now, once again, we're going to clone that four, because um, we don't need we don't need to clone all eight of them. Um, and so we'll just take it and kind of line that up, and it's okay that those other two are kind of off the side. We'll fix that in a second. Um, there we go, and that looks about right. And so you can see these last two are a little bit too long. So what I like to do is I just like to clone until I can't fit anymore. And then what I'll do is I'll take the uh, last ones and kind of break them off. So let's see how many we have right now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So honestly, these last two um, are probably too big for the case. So we'll just hit, we'll just select both of them and hit delete. And it'll ask if we want to. So we just say yes. And now we have 10 of these left, um, and that's 10 ballasongs in this case, you know, before you were only fitting eight, so that's two more ballasongs that you've managed to fit. Um, so then I'm just gonna drag to select all of them, 
And now what we're going to do is hit align, and then there is a center horizontally. So align space to case, we're going to center horizontally, and that will take this entire block of things and just put them right smack dab in the middle of the case. And that's very good for us because that gives us space on either side to uh, work a bit. So what I want to do is my little oil bottle is a circle. I can just go in here and say diameter uh, 0.9, depth 3 inches, uh, no finger notches, no label, add circle. And then it'll ask you this. It'll do the depth error thing. You can just say cut completely through the foam because you don't need to worry about your little you know, bottle of oil getting too hurt. Um, and voila, there you are. You can just take this and kind of put it uh, over here on the side or whatever, and this will fit one of those 10 milliliter bottles of oil uh, pretty well. It's actually slightly bigger than the bottle of oil, which is really good because it makes it easier to kind of pull it uh, in and out of the... Uh, spot, but yeah, about 0.9 inches is about as big as a 10 milliliter bottle of oil. And so you can like put that over in the corner here. My little Weeha stubby screwdriver is also about three inches tall. And so it would also fit vertically in the case. And so let's see what the actual diameter of the screwdriver is. It's like slightly larger than 1.25 inches. So I'm going to say 1.3. So we're going to just go into diameter in inches and type in 1.3. And then once again, depth, we're going to call it three. No finger notches, no printed label, add circle, cut through the foam. There you go. Uh, one thing you do need to be careful with when you're doing like, you know, cut through the foam like these um, is once again, you want to keep them away from these holes and you want to keep them away from the sides because if it's too close to the sides, a bottom cut through like this is going to be pretty weak. And so that would be that would be a problem. So you don't want that. Um, and so you can see what I've done is I've actually aligned this one with the edge of this one. So they kind of like, uh, match and they're also aligned to the edge of this so this edge goes up and then it kind of matches that and matches that and I think that'll look pretty aesthetically pleasing. All right, so now that we've got these two shapes over here, what I want to do is focus on this side where we kind of have this big open area that we could do something with, but we haven't. Um, and so to fill this space, you're going to want to create a custom triangular shape. And the way to do that is first you want to count how big the shape is. Okay, so we'll start at the top here and go, uh, each one of these squares is about half of an inch. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's 10 squares, which is about um, five inches of space. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five. So five squares, that's two and a half inches of space. Okay, so we've got five inches here and two and a half inches there. So we'll use that and we'll go over to the draw setting here. Click on that. And you're gonna start right at the top, uh, right on the grid. You just wanna kinda click and drag down at 90 degrees. So you wanna make sure that stays nice at 90. And we're gonna make this one, so we had five inches of space. So what I'm gonna do is instead of doing five inches, I'm gonna do four and a half inches. So you can see it reads out exactly how much you're at. So I'm gonna do four and a half inches and I'm gonna click. And then I'm gonna drag to the left and uh, wanna make sure once again that that's at 90 degrees. And if you're having trouble getting to 90 degrees, um, just hold Z and that will allow you to adjust uh, the angle a little bit better. So, okay, so now we're gonna go to 2.5 inches, uh, which is what we counted, but honestly, we might even wanna take that in a little bit because it's better to undershoot than it is to overshoot. Um, so instead of 2.5, I'm gonna get it about a quarter inch of space, and we're just gonna do 2.25. And then once again, as you can see, it's only letting me do 91 or 90. So once I've got that 2.25, I just hit Z, and it lets me have a little bit better control over the angle. Um, or it's supposed to, maybe I have to be finished first, but I can click and I go back to the top here and click to finish. All right, now I go to the move point section. You can see this is at 89 and this is at uh, 65. So I want to click on this point, hit Z, and I get a little bit better control over the angle. So now it's at 90 degrees exactly, which is great. Then we go to the depth and we hit three and then hit create shape and it'll ask, do you want to cut through the foam? You say yes, cut all the way through that foam. And now we can just take our shape, put it over here, and would you look at that, it kind of fits right in uh, to, to our whole design here. So I'm just gonna kind of center it visually in this area. And you could play with the, uh, the size of this shape or whatever you wanna do, but essentially this is just kind of a large cutout for you to put literally whatever you want into. Um, so that's just a convenient way to like store stuff. So once you've added this shape, you're pretty much good. You can kind of do whatever you want. You know, you can customize this a little bit more. Obviously, I didn't perfectly match the angle uh, here. So you could kind of go back, match that angle a little more perfectly. You know, you can fine tune this as much as you want. But this is kind of the basics of how my case builder works. Essentially, you find the type of case and the size of case that you want. And then you can just go in and add all these parts. And then all you do is click Add to Cart up in the corner. Um, or, you know, if, it, if Add to Cart isn't there, you probably need to log in. 
Uh, by the way, if you do log in, you can save your designs uh, as you design them, which is super nice. So you can, you know, make a project and then save your designs inside of that project, and it makes everything really easy to kind of go back to. So I highly recommend making an account here if you are going to be purchasing a case like this. But yeah, this is really honestly the best way to carry around your balisongs. You know, it feels very nice to have a custom case like this, and there's a lot that you can do with it in terms of customizability. It's honestly really fun to go in here and figure out, you know, exactly how you want to. Uh, to make your case work and, and design your knives. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, you know, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something uh, from this very very simple tutorial. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. You just hit add to cart and buy your case, and they'll ship it to you. You know, after they finish uh, building it. But that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, peace.